Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make these three Easter themed cakes. I've got my 4 inch cake, applying it onto my 6 inch cake board, and then filling it in with some buttercream frosting. I have the recipe for the buttercream in the description box. And I've cut my 4 inch cake into three different layers, so I'll have three layers of cake and two layers of buttercream. Then take your spatula and run it along the sides to I create a thin layer of buttercream around the whole cake, on the top as well. Then clean it all off and let it rest in the freezer for about 10 minutes. The very first cake we're going to make is this basket weave um, egg basket cake. So I've got a basket weave tip here. To create the basket weave effect you apply some lines going up the side of your cake, all around the cake. Here I'm just showing you a little section to show you quickly how to make the basket weave. Then you cover one line across. You'll skip the middle line and then you'll cover the next line. And you'll continue this process up the cake. Each time that you start a new layer up top, you reverse the pattern. So the lines that you went over, you're now leaving blank. And the lines that you left blank, you're now applying a line of buttercream across it. So you can see here the pattern. And then you'll do that around the whole of your cake. Quick tip, if you're going to do a basket weave, try to add buttercream on your cake that is the same color as your basket weave. So you can see here, you can actually see through the um, the weave pattern in areas, so that'll be a lot better if you could colour your cake in first, just in hindsight. Then I'm using a grass slash fur tip, going around the whole bottom of my cake, just lining it along the sides, and doing the same for the top of my cake as well. So my eggs are going to be resting on like a, like a grass patch. Having said that though, if you turned this colour um, kind of like a yellowy instead, you could kind of have hay rather than fresh grass, which will look nice too. And then apply your Easter eggs. Here I'm using the M&M's uh, crispy eggs. They're kind of like speckled and all coloured. And they taste amazing too. And just fill in as much as you like. I, I went right up to the edge here, maybe a centimetre away from the edge. And then applying my little cake topper. For our next cake, I've got this one here with the Easter eggs, larger version of the Easter eggs, and some ducks. So now I'm applying a layer of buttercream onto my cake. We're not leaving this one here naked. Applying a healthy amount to the top, flattening it out and pushing it out to the sides, and then adding another healthy amount to the sides of my cake as well. Make sure you cover up any holes, and then go around with your spatula and remove all the excess buttercream. Go around slowly for a nice smooth finish. And then use your spatula to take that lip of frosting to the centre of your cake. Using the same grass tip, just adding a patch in a corner, and that's going to adhere my Easter eggs to the cake. And then I'll go around those Easter eggs, just covering those up. Make sure you do the back as well. Just like so. And then to create the ducks, I've used some yellow fondant, rolling it between my hands, kind of kneading it a little bit first, and then pinching it at one side to create kind of like a teardrop kind of shape, and then take that teardrop end, the really sharp end, and kind of maneuver it up ways, so it's kind of pointing up. That's the body of our duck, and the head is just a circle of fondant. You can attach it onto the second piece with a little bit of water. Here I'm using some edible textures by Americolor, it's their Gourmet Rider range. And then I'm applying a little triangle of brown fondant onto the face to make a little beak. So it's very easy to make some ducks. And apply that onto your cake. And then around the base of the cake I'm going to pipe on a pearl border, border with a circle tip. So just squeeze and pull back, squeeze and pull back. And if you have a cake topper, you can add that on as well. For the last cake, I'm doing an Easter egg drip cake here. So following the exact same process, we're covering it in buttercream, we're cleaning up the sides and the top, and then putting it in the freezer for 10 minutes before we apply our chocolate ganache. And I've tinted my chocolate ganache blue, and I'll have the recipe for that in the description box below. And with your spatula, push it out to the sides and over the sides so it starts to drip. And then I have some ganache in a piping bag and you can see here I'm only adding very little drops over the edge of the cake because it is a pretty short and small cake 
I'm trying not to let those drips touch the board. And then if you like to speed up the dripping process, just tap your cake on your countertop. And then I'm adding my eggs directly on top of the ganache. Adding three large ones in the middle and then filling in the spaces with those speckled eggs. These are the M&M Krispies again. Like your last, add a little bit of grass embellishment along the sides and the top and you're done. There's three very easy miniature cakes you can make designed for this Easter. Roll buttercream base, except for this one here, has a little bit of a ganache. Again, I'll have the recipe for the ganache in the description box below. And I'll also have a link for this little cake topper, little happy Easter cake topper as well. I'll take you straight there. And that's the tutorial for today. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this easy miniature cake tutorial and I will catch you next time.